You know, as if losing more than half a million people in this country to COVID-19 is not heart-wrenching enough, many people were forced to take their last breath without any family or friends there to provide any comfort. We're going to let that sit there with you for a second. Well, you know, patient visitation restrictions left nurses and other hospital staff to comfort dying patients, to step in and be that friend yeah. or family member. And that's a role that one primary care provider not only stepped into, but did so with compassion and a loving heart. And for that, he was honored with the Daisy Award for Extraordinary Nurses. Nurse practitioner Jordan Braniff of Title Health Primary Care in Berlin joins us now. Jordan, thank you so much for thank spending for some time with us. Yeah, so uh, <laughs> it's been quite a year, hasn't it? It certainly has. There's been many challenges across the U.S. for sure. So, I, you know, we know that already you're you're dealing with some difficult circumstances when it comes to to working with your patients this one is absolutely extraordinary is this has this last year been way more difficult than anything else you've had to deal with well i have to say um there's been a lot of challenges this year especially in primary care um as the you know as we learn more about the covid 19 pandemic uh, a lot of the care that we provide was interrupted and we did a lot by telemedicine so video and audio so in primary care you know a lot of things have been different um, slowly getting back to normal but um, you know in this case um, you know the hospital staff has been dealing with a lot of these issues acutely on the bed the bedside every day so you know for me things are slowly getting back to normal and seeing patients in the office but um, in this case the uh, you know the staff at the hospital were, have been doing a great job so uh, you know I can never commend them enough I, I know this is my award but I, I you know they're the ones that do this every day so I, I give them all the credit in the world sure but we want to set it up a little bit you, as we mentioned you're a primary care provider nurse mm -hmm. practitioner and this was one of your patients that you saw on a regular basis and you found out that um, obviously had COVID and he was dying what happened? So um, as a primary care provider, our job is to kind of connect the dots and keep an eye on people and kind of records keeper and see them for acute issues, et cetera. Um, so when a patient is admitted to the hospital at Title Health, we automatically get notification that they're admitted. So, um, you know, I tend to keep an eye on my patients that are in the hospital, even though I'm not actively managing their care, I still keep an eye on them. Um, while reviewing this particular patient's notes, um, he was in comfort care. so. Uh, meaning that he was being made comfortable by staff there. And I noticed a note from one of the providers and nursing staff that, um, you know, family had declined to see him due to his condition and um, that he was uh, basically by himself. And uh, this is a patient that I had gotten to know over the last few years. And, um, you know, I, 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 in context for me, I was an emergency room nurse for over six years. And we um, tend to not ever let a patient die alone. So that is a, the culture that I learned as an emergency room nurse. Mm. And so as soon as I saw um, that this patient, you know, was going to be without family, I, I felt, you know, obligated and kind of honored to try to step in in that regard. So, I, A, thank you for doing that. But B, what did you tell your family? So my wife is a nurse practitioner as well. She's very supportive. She cares just as much about her patients. So it's not... You know, it's not unheard of for, you know, us to talk about, you know, certain, you know, emotional issues we have at, you know, at work at home. And so when I said, hey, you know, sweetie, I have a patient that, you know, probably needs a little extra support at the hospital. She said, go and do what you need to do. Wow. Yeah. And I understand that the nurses at the hospital staff there did get a message from the family to play music for this patient. They had done a wonderful job for this patient, um, and I, I suspect they do this for all of their patients that need help, but they had a um, vacation scene on the TV, uh, which looked, I was, I was a little jealous, the vacation place, it was at the beach and water and some nice music playing in the room, and you know they had done a great job making this patient comfortable. All right, so then we come down to the point of what went through your mind and what did you do when you walked into the room, heard the music, saw the TV, and so I saw your patient. What'd you do? You know, you, you just do what you need to do. You just you know, talk to them. I mean, in, in nursing and in, as a, you know, in, in your training, you find that hearing is the last thing to go as patients pass on. And so you, you just talk to patients and you, you know, you, 
you tell them that you're here there and that they are appreciated and that, you know, their life meant something. And, um, you know, I, uh, that's what I, I just sat there and talked to, had a conversation with the patient. That's, I mean, you just made them aware that I was there and that you know, they were comfortable and they, you know, they had to live a good life and they were wow. going to be passing on. Amazing. And I'm sure the family is so appreciative. The award you got, the Daisy Award, what does it mean to you? So it's a very, um, it's a very humbling honor that they give nurses in the hospital who go above and beyond. I, I'm getting, I'm on the news and I'm, you know, gotten the award, but I mean, nurses do this every day. And, you know, I, again, bring, um, I would like to bring their efforts to the table on a daily basis, but it was very, it was, it was very surprising and I was very humbled. Jordan, to all the nurses that do what you do, Jordan, to you, thank you so much for feeling that pull in your heart to do what needed to be done. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Mm.